What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel Fishing with Nordby. I'm Andrew Nordby and we're out here on Lake Gunnersville today doing some crappie fishing. We're going for some crappie, some crappie, some sockele, some dinner plate fish, some pan fish. What do you call them? What's some of the strangest things you've heard crappie called? Slabs? I like to call them slabs. We are trying to be the slab daddy today get some biggins. But I'm excited. I'm out here on beautiful Lake Gunnersville. It's pretty cloudy. It's rainy looking. We might have a storm moving in on us and we're graphing around these crappie. So I'm looking for stumps. I'm looking for brush on the bottom. We'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And I'm kind of panning around with live scope looking for it on these flats or uh, side of these channels. Just going down I'm looking for big old stumps and then you can see if there's fish in them. And then it's a whole nother thing to get them to bite. But that's what we're gonna do today. So stick along with me for the video. Hope you enjoy it, hope you learned something today. We're gonna show you our setup, what we're using, and ask me any questions you have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's have some fun, catch some fish today. a tiny little jig on there link these down below catches them when they're finicky and then also link down below my setup we got six pound p line tied to six uh this is their spin cast braid tied to a six pound liter of fluorocarbon by p line and then we got a seven and a half foot acc crappie stick seven six with the old loose hs 200 speed spin and i love this setup i love the sound of the drag on this reel and that drag works great so i'm pulling up to a little spot where there's some stumps and i'm gonna be throwing this little jig down to them it's a 124 ounce this little jig head it's a white one and then i got a medium sized split shot on there kind of up and down size the split shot depending on how deep i am but we, we got some crappie down here. I'm also going to pull up crappie on the, or crappie, yeah, I'll pull up crappie on the screen. We're gonna pull up live scope on the screen so you can see what's going on. That thump gel, you don't need minnows, which is nice. I was actually out here in one of my last videos with minnows and they would not touch the minnows and we caught 21 on jigs with thump gel. It was crazy. That was a testament right there. Here we go. Spin the boat around here, find my my live scope on Active Captain. There we are. And we're gonna start recording so you can see what I'm looking at. Just spinning around here, we're, we're searching for it. So just kind of look until we see, there's a couple stumps right there and there's some fish on them. And they're in 28 feet. So I'm gonna spot lock us right here. I'm gonna zoom in on those stumps a little bit. And I'm gonna cast my little jig down to them. We got some storms rolling in, so hopefully, hopefully they don't cause us to get off the lake. There we go. A little rain won't hurt, but I'm not a big fan of the storms. You kinda see my jig going down there. I'm by the bottom right now. I'm gonna come up over the top of this first stump so I don't get stuck on it go and then I'm gonna drop down in between them a little bit and I don't want to get stuck on that one either I'm gonna drop down right on the front side of this stump really don't see much for fish there it's like two fish oh one turned on me for a second there's like two fish on those stumps we're gonna keep going fun stumps they got more fish on them because it's hard to catch two or three it's easier when there's a thousand of them 
So let's keep looking. Still looking. We got some on that stump. That's for sure. I'm gonna get. We got some good current moving, so I'm gonna get almost right on top of that. Get it in about ten foot out. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. We're just gonna go ahead and zoom in on that guy so you can actually see what we're looking at a little better. That's a good looking stump. It's close to us now. Where's my jig at? Oh, there I am. So I'm gonna basically take my jig down to it. Oh, they already smashed it. What the heck? They missed it. I don't know what happened. They almost acted like bluegill. They smashed it and pulled it down again. Those are big bluegill. That's crazy. Alright. Let's try this again. I think those are bluegill swimming around in the pile. We gotta get down to the pile where the crappie are. There we go. That's gonna that's gonna do it. There you oh man. How? That felt like a crappie. I gotta put a new jig on. This one's torn up. And you know the drill. Add some sparkle, add some scent, add some oil it slowly, slowly comes off of there. I don't know what it is, but this gel's amazing. It's got a ton of different flake in it. And sometimes I throw this white and blue one on. They call it crank gel. Good stuff. All right. Let's get back on these fish. Pretty much right on top of it. I got a feeling we're going to catch one this cast. One's already looking at it. There he is. There he is. My trolling motor got in the way of the bite. Wow. That's why they're pulling me down. They're pulling me down. Little baby. That's a little baby. Get out of here. We want your daddy. We want your granddaddy. <laughs> they followed it all the way off the pile. got one came over the top of that pile and he ate it another baby but this one's a keeper that's a nine incher fish number two for the day not bad not bad some babies I'm gonna go look for another pile because they're not doing it there caught a few on it Let's try this this one 50 feet out. That one looks good. Yeah. Looks like there's a couple in there. Two piles too. There we go. We're gonna catch one of these. Oh, eat it. Man. There's one. There he is. Did you see them both shoot out after it? <laughs> they decided to hit it at the same time. Now that's a better slab. I love 10, 11 inch slabs. They are fun. Look how he ate it too, that thump gel. They want it. Crazy. 10 inch right there. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. See you, buddy. Doing a little catch and release today. 
that was first cast down at this new stump i'm gonna switch colors we got a dark day i'm gonna put on my favorite color black and chartreuse black and chartreuse right there that'll get them i think that'll get them a little thump gel Feel the thump. Feel the thump. See if that made a difference. One little adjustment can make a big difference. Nope, wasn't that color. See that thumb gel all over that? Oh, it looks so good. Man. I don't know why I didn't need it. Let's try. Let's try the shad color. With the white. Those look like little bluegill. There he is. There we go. We found the color. That's how you know. That is how you know right there. Boom. The color makes a good difference or bad difference but first drop with the shad color we caught him after dropping all those other ones down and only catching one let's see if it will pick up two in a row dropping in on them we got us one little log down there it's got a few fish on it. Got him. First drop. <laughs> oh, he was a roamer too. We found the color, folks. This is just a shad looking color on this dull, rainy day. That might be all they want. All right. Pulling up to another area where we're hoping there are some fish. So. I'm just going to try and keep live scope up the whole time I'm looking at these piles and getting dialed in on them. Normally I do it after we're already dialed in, but let's, let's go ahead and do it. Show you what I do when I get up here to the front. Start recording. Okay. First thing, we got to get dialed into our depth zone. There we go. Next thing, we got to turn the gain up a little bit here. We're going to zoom out and we're going to look for this pile. We got some fish up by the top. Something going on here, some bait fish. Ooh, a lot of bait fish. Those look like they might be crappie roaming down there at 60. Oh, not on any brush. The cool thing is we can hit them at 60. The seven and a half foot rod, throw it down there to them. Oh, they kind of swam off the screen. Let's try again. Oh, there's our pile. There's our pile. We got some fish below us too that look big. We could hit those too. If I get hooked up with one of those, that might be a fight. Ah, let's go for the pile. There's definitely a few there. We got all this eel grass in the way. That's fun. Oh, they're coming up for it. We're going to go back down. There he is. Got one. Got one. They're babies. That's why they're having trouble eating it. Babies. So, we'll, we'll catch a few more. If they're all that size, we'll go somewhere else. Hmm. 
babies. I've never caught so many babies before than this year. It's like Lake Gunnersville is loaded with the, the next generation of crappie right now. I'm down in the middle of them right now. There we go, another one. Hey! That's why you don't quit fishing the pile after one baby. <laughs> That's a better fish. Another 10 incher, second biggest one of the day. They're so educated here, it's unreal. Got one, man, finally. That's a good one too. Yeah, he's a little small. Ah. Quit it, quit, quit. Well, that's two. Got him. We did the old dancing technique there. I danced it up above him. He one shot up for it and I stopped it and they inhaled it. That's the technique I like to do. I'll show it to you again here. I know you just saw it, but here it is again. Drop down to him. Main, oh, we're on some eel grass. All right, we dance it, dance it. They shoot up for it and I stop it, boom. That's how they want it today. Okay, we just figured that out. Dancing our jigs for slaps. Maybe that should be the title of the video. Dancing our jigs for slabs. I think so. I think we're about to load up on them right here. Dance, 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 dance. Stop. Boom. Oh, man. That's unreal. How many can we catch in a quick little, little uh, five-minute segment here? I don't want to know. We're going to find out. Dance, 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 dance. Here they come. Oh, I didn't dance it long enough. Drop it back down to the whole school. Dance, 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 dance. Stop. Boom. That's how they want it. Oh, that's awesome. That's so fun. Dance, 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 dance. Here one comes, no. Nope. Got him. <laughs> They're all babies though. That is some good live scope footage. That's fun. Had a blast catching those slabs. ACC's doing work, a little loose. Uh, speed spin, real, love them. And P-Line, six pound braid, you guys have been asking how I set it up. Six pound spin cast braid to a six pound P-Line fluorocarbon leader. And I put about 12 foot of leader line on there. That way when I retie a bunch, I don't have to tie a, a new leader line on as often. But hope you enjoyed the video. I wanna share a few things with you. One is uh, a little word about negativity. I heard it the other day and I wrote it down. It says, negativity will stop the flow of creativity. It'll stop the flow of the creator in your life. There is a dam built up in your heart blocking the flow uh, of creativity from the creator. You're stuck because of negativity. Negativity is like a cancer that eats away at positivity. It turns everything from good to bad, positive to negative. If you don't guard your heart, if you don't take action to prevent negativity, negativity will grow in your heart like weeds in a flower bed and choke it out eventually. Or as I thought of like eel grass on Lake Gunnersville, <laughs> and it'll just float everywhere and get in your way and you'll be frustrated all the time. Uh, so that was, that was a cool analogy. Uh, that I heard the other day and I want to share whatever's clogging you up causing bitterness bitterness in your life flush it out guys flush it out come to the Lord repent and turn uh, gratefulness leads to great fullness quit being negative and be grateful cast out your negativity today 
Just want to share that with you. Uh, the verse that was shared along with that, Numbers 14, starting in verse 26 through 37, about uh, Moses and Aaron, the Lord talking to them. He said, how long will this wicked community grumble against me? I've heard the complaints of these grumbling Israelites. So tell them, as surely as I live, declares the Lord, I will do to you the very thing I heard you say. In this wilderness, your bodies will fall, every one of you, 20 years or old or more, who has counted in the census, who has grumbled against me. Not one of you will enter the land I swore with uplifted hand to make your home, except Caleb uh, and Joshua, who, the, the two who, who did not uh, fear what the Lord wanted them to do uh, in going to the promised land. But read that whole thing, Numbers 14, 26 through 37. That was just the start of it. Grumbling, complaining, being negative is not what the Lord wants of us. If you hear somebody talking bad about somebody, tell them, I don't want to hear that today. Like, I don't want to talk bad about people today. We are all part of God's creation. So with that, we're going to feed God's creation here. We're going to feed little Ned real quick. All right. Ready, Ned? He's gonna rush over here. Poof. Oh, got him. There's another one swimming. He sees it. Got him. Ned is the man. He always eats those bluegill and he never complains. He might stare me down if he hasn't eaten and be like, why aren't you feeding me, Dad? But he doesn't complain. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you come to Lake Gunnersville, please book our tiny homes at Sweet Springs. You can do that by the link below or calling 256-504-1303. So, please stay there if you come. Uh, I might come by and say hi if I'm able to. I'm there a lot at our wedding venue. And it's plenty of boat parking right by the state park, right next to three different boat ramps. Really good fishing. Come check it out. And remember, we're putting out a video every single day here in November. Got all the stuff we use linked below if you're interested in that. We got some apparel on our website, fishingwithnorby.com. Check out Dollar Jerky Club. Uh, some really good jerky. But anyways, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to get out of here. Catch you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.